Reading the questions before you read the passage is a very common strategy for cars that a lot of test prep companies teach. They say that if you read the questions first, you'll know what to look out for when you read the passage, so that you know exactly what's going to be tested. Is that a good idea? Hey guys, my name is Jack Weston, and today I'm going to discuss whether or not reading the questions before you read a passage is a good cars strategy. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. I do not recommend that you read the questions first, and here's why. If you read the questions first, you're going to have to read them again. That means that you're going to have to spend twice as much time reading the questions. That's precious time that you could be using to understand the passage better. The second reason is if you actually read the questions first, you may distract yourself from what the passage is trying to say. You're going to be looking out for certain words or certain sentences, and that doesn't necessarily guarantee that you'll even get the question right. It's not like most of these questions are going to be verbatim in the passage. The next major reason why you shouldn't do this is because most of the MCAT questions are based on bigger ideas, and the main idea is not something that you can find in just one paragraph or one sentence. It represents the entire passage. It also includes the author's tone, which can't be found by just reading one or two sentences. I think all you need to do is read the passage, understand the big ideas of every paragraph, find the main idea, and then go straight into the questions with that in mind. I find that anything else is really just a gimmick. It's not even a strategy. You know, I like to say that you know, strategy is just doing things properly, doing things the way the MCAT expects you to do it as a test taker. And most of that is simply just reading the passage first and then answering the questions one by one. And any other kind of trick, like maybe reading the first paragraph or the last paragraph first, or reading the first sentence and the last sentence of every paragraph, is just foolish in my opinion because. At the end of the day, they put the passage in front of you for a reason. They want you to read the passage. They want you to listen and pay attention to what the author is trying to say. And if you neglect the passage, if you're trying to avoid it by using these shortcuts, you're bound to make mistakes. Could you actually read the questions first and end up getting some of the questions right? Possibly, but again. Why go through all of that stuff if you don't have to? Why make it that much harder on yourself to read the passage and read the questions again? And it's not a good excuse to say, okay, well, I won't remember every part of the passage, and so if I get a question on some part of the passage, I may miss it. That's not okay. That's why we map. That's why I recommend writing certain ideas down for every paragraph. You take your time and really get what's going on because these questions are not going to be answered very directly. You have to be able to understand the bigger meaning of the passage, and if you don't have that deeper meaning when you get to the questions, you're still going to be lost, even if you do read the questions first. When you have a good understanding of the passage, you're going to be more confident. You're you're not going to have to go back all the time to the passage. You'll be able to answer most of these questions without referring to specific details or specific sentences, and that's what I want you to start doing. I want you to start figuring out who the author is, what is their message, what are they trying to convey to you. Those are major problems that most students have, and if you can address those right now, you're going to be better off on your exam. So, bottom line is, just be normal. Read like a normal person. Answer questions like a normal person, and you should be totally fine. If you need help with the MCAT or cars strategies in particular, definitely check out my website jackwesson.com. Or if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll answer it. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, and tell people about it. Thank you for watching.